Hello and welcome to HT Auto. This is not a regular day and this is not your regular motorcycle. I am on the Kari racetrack and this is the race spec Royal Enfield uh, Continental GT650 as if the stock model was not wild enough. So I have this motorcycle for the entire day. I'm going to ride this motorcycle out on the racetrack. So stick around for the next few minutes and I'll let you know what this motorcycle is all about. The Bullet Maker announced its one make championship in India last year. While I missed the opportunity to witness the first round of the championship, I did make it to the last round when Anish Shetty was declared victorious for the season 1. With this event, the company intends to promote the retro racing in India and in the process also train new and experienced racers. For this event, the company has designed a race pack GT650 used by all the participants. So the major components on this motorcycle they remain the same, for example, the engine is the same, chassis is the same, wheels and brakes are also the same. But what has changed is like you've got a stiffer suspension up front, uh, you've got even more lower down uh, handlebar here, you've got uh, full system exhaust, apart from that you've got a shorter seat as well, that's purely for the looks, you've got stickier tyres and of course a, a stiffer suspension at the back as well. So all of this put together, it has helped the company to drop more than around 23 to 25 kgs and that by any standard is a big number. The majority of the weight on the bike is saved by replacing the stock exhaust with a new free flow race pack unit which is not just lighter but adds a few horses and on the top of it the new pipes sound like an absolute maniac. <laughs> When it comes to the ride, the weight saving is quite apparent as the bike picks up pace in no time and how quickly it reaches the red line is quite unbelievable. For the first few laps, I redlined on almost all gears because it is so ridiculously easy. Quick revving twin pushed the motorcycle to triple digit speeds in no time and stickier rubber gave it much needed grip around the corners. The absolutely incredible and well balanced chassis on the GTR 650 showed what it is capable of, especially when sticking to the lines. I remember going easy on turns initially, but soon after that, I was scraping the suit's knee pads. I wouldn't say losing all the weight has made the bike a completely light machine to ride, but yes, it did bring along a huge difference, to say the least. Diving into the corners is definitely easier and less demanding, while maintaining the same amount of high-speed stability. And the cherry on the top is its braking that takes care of everything even if you're going way beyond the track's limits. Also, the stiffer suspension setup takes care of the compression at the front end when slamming the brakes hard, which in return also allows the rider to carry over faster corner speeds. So my day comes to an end with this motorcycle and it was such a fun day indeed. It is such a dynamite on the track. Now for those of you who are wondering how you can make your GT look like this one, I have a bad news for you. These parts are not officially on sale by Roland Field. But what you can indeed do is register yourself up for the GT Cup and prove your metal over there and maybe one day you will be able to ride this motorcycle. Now that's all in the show today. It's goodbye for now and as always, ride safe.